Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with me with Tag Along Tuesday. So today we're going to work on some different tags. Um, hopefully some that you haven't seen before, some ways to make them and that kind of thing. Now what I do is I save all of my junk mail, all of my pieces of cardstock, uh, just pieces of the backing of ephemera. Let's see, that's the backing of an ephemera piece. More backing ephemera. I save all of these because I love using these on the inside of my tags because I like for my tags to be kind of strong in case I'm stuffing it down in a long pocket. I don't want it to bend or be hard to put in there. So I like them to be long. And some of these are very pretty as they are. You could just decorate them up as they are if you wanted to. So we're going to work with some of this stuff today. So let's pull out a couple and we'll get started on them. No telling what all we will do, but we'll get started with these. Let's see. I'm thinking about doing a tag to go over the top of a page. One that you hinge at the top and it just kind of slips down over the top of the page. So let's do that. Let's just start with this and cover it with something and then we'll kind of go from there. Now, I've got some papers here that I accidentally printed the wrong size. These are actually the papers that went with the e-club kit for this month, uh, the digital that I made up for it, and I have printed them the wrong size <laughs> on my, my end, not on anybody else's. But, um, so I thought that I would go ahead and use those up, but I don't think I'm gonna use that one on this this one particular. Let's see. I'm just going to find one that I think I might work with here. Well, I'm thinking that one right there. I keep looking at it, so I might as well use it. Now, this is from the Journal Boat, if I'm not mistaken. So, I think I'm going to use this piece right here. I like that. And I don't think, let me see, let me see what it'll look like. Sometimes you can get away with wrapping the paper all the way around. Well, that still has journal space on there, so maybe I'll do that. Wrap it all the way around. And I'm just going to use my glue stick. I think I want to start it at the bottom. <clears throat> get all that glue all over me because I pressed down so hard I think it'll never come off of there. You know your glue stick lasts you a lot longer if you don't press down so hard. <laughs> oh but tell me how I do that and then I'm just gonna fold this over I think my thinks. Oh yeah that'll be good writing room right there you can write on that. Let's see. So I'm going to go ahead and tear this off. Oops, got to get my ruler the right way. And then we'll need to cut this top off. Yeah, I'm going to cut it. I was, I was trying to think if I wanted to fold it over. But I'm going to cut it off because we are going to be putting some lace or some kind of material or something at the top so that we can have that folded over our page. Okay. Now we'll go ahead and put our glue on the back. And i got to get another glue stick. Now, if for some reason I have a little bit like that, that where I didn't get it exactly even, I don't worry about that. I just trim it off. I'm going to be doing a little bit of snipping and trimming on this anyway. There we go. Oh, I like that. It's pretty. Now we need to make the other one that's going to go on the other side. And you just need to make sure that your pieces are the, well, they don't have to be the right size. I started to say make sure they're the same size, but they don't have to be. 
they can be any size it doesn't matter let's see I think we'll put this one well that's just like that other one let's even though they're not going to be on the same page let's just go ahead and pull out another sheet I think I'll put the birdies on this one let me grab another glue stick we'll use this one until it's gone and switch over Well, I think that's actually going to get all of that. And then I'm just going to put this down to where my birds will be on there. I have to trim off a little bit at the top and the bottom, but that's okay. A lady got one of these bone folders the other day. And she said, I got that bone folder. You tell me how I've been living without that thing. I said probably the same way I have. I tell you, with my hands like they are, I, that has helped me so much. Okay. All right, then I got two pieces left there that I can do some good tags with. Pockets. Okay, just make sure, yeah, there's good writing room on that side. Go ahead and finish this little stick off and then we'll grab our other one. All right, I think we've got all we can get out of that one. Pull that over. Right, there are our two tags, one for one side and one for the other. So they would go over the top of a page, and that's how they would look. And then you'd have the journaling space on the back if you wanted to take them off. Or you could just clip these on. You wouldn't have to attach them. But I'm going to attach mine at the top with a little piece of fabric or lace, and then I can fold them over my page. We could just put this piece of lace on there. This is a little piece of vintage lace that I have. And it was just laying here on my desk. I think I'll do that and I'm not even going to worry about that I don't have it cut straight or anything. Um, I'm not going to cut these in a tag shape. I'm going to leave them like they are but they will be tags. They'll just be hanging tags. But you could cut them in a tag shape if that's what you want. Now I left just a tiny bit of room between them. Just enough that when they fold over the page that they don't kind of stick out. So just a tiny bit. Probably an eighth of an inch. I'll open it up and you can see on the inside. See I left just a little bit between them. And so what would happen here is, let's just say this is our journal page. This would hang over like that and you'd have your tag on this side and journal space on the back and then when you flip your page over you have the tag there and the journal space on the back. Now let's go ahead, I'm going to round, or not round, but I'm going to chip off these little corners here on the bottom. I think they look better. And then I'm going to ink it. And I don't know, I may stitch mine. I don't know if I will or not. It'll just depend. But you don't have to. 
whoops I folded that back didn't I it didn't have any ink under it um, ink it didn't have any glue under it okay let's try that again there we go all right I'm gonna go right down in here with some glue because looks like I didn't glue it far enough up or close enough to the little edge there so I got this one nope that one too there we go I'm gonna go ahead and ink on the inside now I really don't think these tags need very much on them other than maybe a label I don't think I don't think there's very much that they need they've got flowers they've got birds so we might just come in with a little label and a butterfly like that let's just put that down there All right, we'll flip it over, and I, I don't think this one needs much either. Oh, I like that on there. Cute. Okay, and I think that is all I'm going to do on those. That's just going to be, like I said, a hanging tag that hangs over the page. And then it'll be a journaling spot also on the back side. So let's pretend this is our journal. It'll hang over the top. Now, you can clip it if you want, but it'll stay there just as is. And then that'll be on the other side of the page. All right. I think that's going to be that one. Now we can go on to another. Let's grab another piece of ephemera. Well, let's grab another piece of scrap here and see what we can come up with. Now these came with some papers, I think, from somewhere. I don't know where. But I thought we could make a tag and make it make this part be a little wraparound tuck. So I'm going to go ahead and this side, this end is rounded. I'm going to go ahead and round this end just to hopefully kind of sort of match it. And then we'll cover this with some paper. I think I'm going to see. Nope, it's not long enough. I, like I said, I printed those incorrectly. <laughs> And I've been trying to use them because I did print them wrong, but I'm still going to use them up. I'm not going to throw them away. Here's one that we, we actually printed it the right size, but just with the um, wrong paper. Sorry, I was concentrating. Just trying to make sure I got my door on the front. Okay, I think I'm going to put that down like that. And in case you want to know, these digitals came with our e-club kit for June. You have to be an e-club kit member to receive them. They don't go up in our store. I made them specifically for the e-club kit members. And it's a full kit with ephemera. That's just another one of their perks that they get. Or that you would get if you was an e-club kit member. Okay, let's see. I might just wrap that around. Okay. 
I think I will. I'm just going to wrap that around. Just to keep from cutting it off, mainly. Alright, now this bends right here. So I thought this can be a little wrap around tuck. So this is going to be the tuck. This will be where you'll journal. So I want to put some paper there so that you'll have a space to journal. Grab something. And someone asked me, and I'm sure it's a new journaler, asked me, she said, the tags are beautiful, but what do you do with them? Well, you journal on them, and they dress up your journal. But you mainly use them to journal on. I love my tags. Okay. Now I may stitch around this just because this is very, very tough paper and I don't want all of this to come loose. But there's your journalist spot. This will be your tuck. And then this will be your tag. So let's go ahead and trim that little bit off there. Let's see. I'm thinking, hmm, do I want to make that into a tag shape or not? Do I want to cut it? I don't think I do because if I cut it and I cut this side, it's going to make that look weird. I think I'm just going to leave it like that. That can still be a tag. We may go ahead and just round the corners a little bit if they will round with this. Yep, they will. So then I like that. And there's all different kinds of ways that you can make tags. They don't have to have the little thing at the top. You can make a tag any way that you want. So, don't say, that's not a tag. Yeah, it can be a tag. It's just the tag like I choose to make it. <laughs> so, make tags and journaling cards and things any way that you want to. It's your journal. Okay, I like that. Now, that would go, I like it better the right side up. And let's see, let's just say this was your journal page. It could go that way, just like that. That would be a tuck, or you could leave the top open and it could be another tuck there. And then this side, you'd glue it here and here, and that'd be a small tuck on that side. So I like that, and that's just made from a scrap of ephemera backing that I had here. And I'm going to put a little label of some kind on there. Just think that it calls for a little one. Let's try this one right here. And I think I'll put it over here on this side. There we go. So there is another. So now we're going to take this piece of junk mail and we're going to turn it into a double tag. So I've just got it folded in the middle and then I'm going to cover it with paper front and back and then on the inside I'm going to put paper for the journaling. So I'm going to open it back up for right now. Try not to press too hard on my glue so that I won't get it everywhere. Get little chunks off of here. Okay. Now, again, this is a piece of the paper that our eClub Kit members received. They received a full digital with their kit for June. And this is just a piece of the, one of the sheets. I actually printed mine too small, so I, instead of throwing them away, I've been using them. 
I have been using them up. And I'm going to fold that in. No reason except I just want to fold it in. I'm going to cut these little corners first. Just so it'll fold a little bit better. I may have cut that one a little bit too much, but we'll see. Right, there's my glob of glue again. Okay. And then I'm going to fold this over. I think I'll go ahead and cut this little piece right here off. I don't need that piece on there. So this is just some different ways that you can make tags. Not not necessarily the in general way to make tags. You know I like different so I've always tried to come up with something a little bit different out of the norm. And I like using my junk mail and I like using pieces of you know pieces of ephemera and things that are not normally used on tags. These are this is pieces that you would normally throw in the garbage, these little junk mail pieces. But I like upcycling them. I think you can make something pretty out of just about anything. So there is the outside. I'm not going to bend that right now because it's still really, really wet. So I'm going to go ahead and cover the inside before we bend it. Let's find us some paper. I'll just use this since we already have it and it matches that paper perfectly. it so that will go across there and then tear this little piece put that down right there that looks pretty good I'm not gonna ink it you can ink it if you want to this one I'm just going with the flow oh I think I got it a little bit long on this end I'm just going to put it down and then I'll trim it off. Not a big deal. There we go. Okay. Right now we'll see if we can fold it. I'm not sure if it's dry enough yet to fold or not. I'm going to go over this really well with our bone folder. Fold it. Oh, I love that. That is cute. It did fold just a little bit right there, but I can straighten it out. That's cute, isn't it? Now, we can make this into a tag if we want to by cutting these corners off. So if you want to do that, we'll go ahead and do that on this one since we didn't on the others. I don't think it'll cut two corners at a time, so I'm going to cut one. And I don't know that it will cut that other one over there. Yep. 
yeah it doesn't like to cut wet so what we will do is we'll just use our scissors okay there we go so we have a tag there a tag there journaling spot on the inside now you can put uh, some seam binding in the top here just put it on this front side if you want now the longer this stays under like a book or something and the longer you burnish it the more flat that it's going to stay so I will probably just put these under some old books tonight and they'll be ready to go tomorrow and I'm going to be using these in an upcoming journal so now do we need a label maybe I'm not sure if I do or not because everywhere I want to put it I don't want to cover something up so I think I'll leave it off for now and we'll just let that go as it is I like that I like it we could put something in here we could put a little stamp or something in there if we wanted to but let's go ahead and pull these back out the ones that we have made now this one I think I made before I turned the camera on but then we made this one that goes over the top of the page and then I made this one that goes over the side of the page now to me these are tags but you could count this as a pocket and put a tag in there if you wanted to you could put this down and put a tag in there if you wanted I mean there's different ways to use these so just use your imagination but that is what tag along Tuesday was all about today thank you guys for watching I hope you join in make sure that you share all of your projects over on our Facebook page that link is always directly below and we will talk to you guys later don't forget to give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button we'll talk to you later bye bye